the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. The time now is 623. According to a new study out this morning by the CDC, more than a third of all Americans will eat fast food today. Exactly who is eating all this fast food may actually surprise you. Poor diets are often associated with poverty, but this study actually found the more money you make, the more likely you are to eat fast food restaurants. Now, researchers found that African Americans are the most likely to eat fast food, followed by Caucasians and Hispanics and Asians consuming the least amount. Experts continue to warn fast food is often high in sodium and calories, while low in nutritional value. It's linked to obesity, heart disease, and diabetes. Obesity is increasing in epidemic proportions right now. Both adults and children we're talking about here, and it's associated with numerous health issues. In fact, take a look at this, the issue taking the front cover of the recent Time Magazine edition. Joining us this morning to offer ways to get these numbers down, Baptist Health Cardiologist Dr. Anthony Fletcher. Dr. Fletcher, good morning and thanks morning. for being here with us. Uh, yes, uh, this is an epidemic, unfortunately, and it is facing us here in the South, I think, to a, to a degree that maybe is more so than in other parts of the country. Overweight, let's just start with that. How do we define that term? Who is overweight? Absolutely, yeah, we'll start with the definition of overweight. We look at what's called the uh, body mass index. Okay. And body mass index is a ratio of your height, your weight and your height, and so that's how we measure that. And overweight is when the body mass index is 25 to 29.9. And then if you're uh, greater than 30 or equal to 30, you're felt to be obese. So that's the definition of obesity. We also look at location. If you have a lot of uh, what we call the beer belly type syndrome. Midsection range. Uh, absolutely. Uh -huh. That is an independent risk factor for cardiovascular disease and death. And so that's another way that we look at obesity. Okay. How common is, uh, is obesity? Unfortunately, obesity is extremely common. If we look at uh, adults in this country today, 70% of adults are overweight. And we compare that to 40 years ago, it was only 25%. Wait, a 50% so increase? Definitely a 50% increase. Wow. And if this trend continues, it will replace um, cigarette smoking as the number one modifiable risk factor for death. And we look at the, the illustration on the, the screen and talking about obesity. And unfortunately, it shows the, the states that have the highest risk for obesity. And unfortunately, Arkansas is right in the forefront. And all of our uh, neighbors, too. All of our neighbors, yeah. Mississippi, uh, Texas. And a lot of it has to do with lifestyle, what we eat, lack of exercise. Uh, there's a genetic component to this also. I mean, that's certainly possible. Okay. But where we live makes a difference because there are certain things that are conducive to exercise. Unfortunately, some of our colleagues in the West Coast, you know, are more into exercising an image. And people in the South, unfortunately, don't necessarily have uh, that same um, drive to, to stay fit. Socioeconomic status, how much money you make, certainly determines that. And in the intro, we talked about foods. But unfortunately, if you don't have a lot of money, you can't afford to sometimes eat the healthier foods because mm -hmm. they're more expensive. Sure. Yeah. And so it's uh, cheaper to go and get, uh, um, I won't pick on any particular restaurant train, chain, but essentially it's cheaper to go and get fast food and yeah. feed your family than it Dollar is. Dollar menu somewhere, right? Absolutely. Yeah. No question about that. Okay. Well, some great advice as always. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. I know that this is something that continues to unfortunately be a problem. The Baptist Health Healthline is there on your screen. Uh, you can always go to baptist-health.com. They have great resources available on the website to Absolutely. help get those numbers down and hopefully we can curb this moving forward and hopefully make it easier on you guys as doctors because heart disease was one of the things we mentioned. That's a cause from obesity. So thanks for coming Good. in, Dr. Fletcher. Appreciate it.